Canada has long been regarded as one of the most desirable countries in the world, owing to its spectacular natural surroundings, diversified culture, and friendly people. However, the number of persons leaving the country has increased significantly in recent years. The migration has accelerated, affecting everyone from students to skilled professionals, families, and retirees. While there are numerous explanations for this trend, it is critical to reconsider before making such a life-changing decision. In this video, we'll look at the main reasons why so many people are leaving Canada and why it's critical to evaluate all variables before making such a big decision. Before we move on to the main part of the video, subscribe to our channel now and hit the bell icon for more future updates. Let's get into the video. Number 7. Difficulty in starting over. When you move to a new country and start over, you need to be patient and determined. When you get there, everything will rarely work out right away. You might have to start over, and that's fine. The key is to keep going forward and not give up, even when things get hard. Many people find it hard to start over, which can lead to sadness and make it harder for them to improve their lives. But if you stay upbeat and keep going even when things are hard, you'll be able to start a new life in Canada. It can be scary to start over in a new place, and it's not always an easy journey. This is especially important if you were a boss in your home country and are moving to Canada. Even though having experience in your area can help, it's important to know that it's not a guarantee that you'll get a managerial job in Canada right away. Number 6. Culture Differences When compared to the rest of the globe, Canada is head and shoulders above the competition in terms of its friendliness. The Canadians have a reputation for being kind and friendly to people of all backgrounds. But what makes the Canadians even more distinct is the fact that they are naturally reserved. Even though they seem warm and welcoming, it may be challenging to get past the initial barrier and get to know them on a deeper level. However, you shouldn't take it personally because it's just a part of the culture in Canada. We don't mean anything by it. People in Canada place a high value on their privacy and the space they call their own. As a result, it takes some effort to earn people's trust and establish meaningful interactions. However, you shouldn't let this prevent you from getting to know new people while you're in Canada. If you keep trying and are prepared, you will be able to form connections with Canadians that will last. Even if it takes a lot of time and effort, it will be well worth it in the end. Therefore, if you are going to Canada or planning to move there shortly, do not be afraid to reach out to people who live there and establish friends with them. You never know, you might wind up with a bunch of pals for the rest of your life. Number 5. Harsh Weather the winters in Canada are notoriously frigid, with temperatures sometimes falling to as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. But the weather is awful for more reasons than just the fact that it is chilly. At this time of year, heavy snowfall and poor visibility both contribute to the problems that occur and make it more difficult for people to perform their day-to-day -day tasks. In conditions as severe as these, it is essential to remain current on what the city councillors are stating so that you are aware of when the roads will be cleaned and whether or not there is a possibility of additional snowfall. It is the only method to ensure that you will not become stranded either at your residence or while traveling on the roadways. It can be challenging to make it through the winter in Canada, particularly for people who are accustomed to living in warmer climates. If you are prepared and have the appropriate mentality, it is possible to make it through the Canadian winter, even though it may take some time to get used to the frigid temperatures and unpredictable weather. Number 4. Expensive Medical Treatment If you live in Canada, you might think that all healthcare services are free, but that's not always the case. Even though you won't be charged directly for medical care, other costs come with the Canadian healthcare system. One of these is the healthcare tax, which is one of the taxes that Canadian people have to pay. This tax is a way to pay for Canada's healthcare system and make sure that everyone who needs it can get it. Another thing to keep in mind is that each doctor can only see a certain number of people for free. This means that if your doctor already has a certain number of patients, you might have to find another doctor who is open and taking new patients. Even though this might not seem like a big deal, it can be annoying to have to find a new doctor, especially if you've gotten to know the one you have now. Also, most doctors in Canada work from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, which can make it hard to make appointments if you have a full work plan. Number 3. Job Opportunities Finding a job can be hard, especially when more people are looking for work than there are jobs. This is how things are in Canada right now, where the job market is getting more and more competitive. Both job seekers and businesses are affected by this trend. Companies are finding it hard to find the right person for the job, and job seekers are having a harder time getting a job. 
but it's important to keep believing. If you want to find a job in Canada, there are a few things you can do to improve your chances. Think about going outside of your current industry or location and widening your search to other fields or areas. You can also attend job fairs or network with other professionals to meet new people and find new chances. Keep looking, keep your head up, and stay upbeat. The right job is waiting for you out there. Number 2. Extreme Housing Cost The housing industry in Canada is now dealing with a significant difficulty, which has caused a great number of Canadians to feel unsure about their ability to buy or even rent a home soon. The goal of many Canadians to one day be able to call their own house seems to be becoming further and farther away due to the growing costs associated with home ownership. Renters are also bearing the brunt of the issue, as landlords are rising rents to keep up with the high property expenses. This means that renters are being hit harder than ever before by the issue. Young adults and families are put in a difficult position because of this, since it makes it difficult for them to locate an inexpensive place to call home. The crisis in housing is not going away anytime soon, and something needs to be done about it if everyone is going to have access to housing that is both safe and affordable. It is time for everyone to work together to find a solution to this critical problem that affects every one of us. Number 1. High Tax Rates The average Canadian pays a huge 42.5% of their salary in taxes, according to the Fraser Institute. That means that almost half of what you earn goes right to the government. But wait, it gets worse. Some locals have told us that the tax rates are even higher. But for the sake of accuracy, we have only used the numbers we found online. In addition to federal and local income taxes, these taxes also include the unemployment income premium, contributions to the Canada Pension Plan and health care, and indirect taxes on things like groceries and food bills. Think about it. Every time you buy something as simple as food or pay a bill, you're paying more taxes on top of the income taxes you already pay. It's important to know how much of your income goes to taxes so you can make smart decisions about your money and plan. Think again before you go. Before making a final choice about whether or not to leave Canada, there are some important things to think about. First of all, it's important to understand that no place is perfect. No matter where you live, there will always be problems and challenges. Also, it's important to think about the pros and cons of living in Canada or somewhere else. Even though Canada has problems, it is still a safe, stable, and friendly place to live with a high standard of living. If you want to leave Canada to find a better life, you should study and carefully think about the pros and cons of the country you want to move to. So, we have come to an end. Even though there are a lot of reasons why people leave Canada, it's important to think about everything before making a choice. In the end, leaving Canada is a personal choice, and you should make the decision that is best for you and your family. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Like and share the video and see you in the next video.